Hey everybody, Jillian here. Welcome to my channel. It is the end of the month. You know what that means. I'm going to share a flip through of my journaling Bible showing you the entries that I did in the month of November. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and flag all of my entries so that I wasn't fishing around for them like last month and I didn't miss any. So I have 25 entries that I'm going to show you here in my journaling Bible and a lot of them are from Gratitude Documented, although not all of them. Um, because I used this mini book to work through Gratitude Documented and have a lot of my stuff in here. So I'm not done with this yet, but I think once I am done with it, maybe I'll do a video and show you guys exactly how this turned out. But for now, I'll go ahead and start with my Bible. So the first of the 25 entries I have was actually just one of those days. You can see here, I didn't do a great job of stamping, smeared the, back, the black paint splatters that I had added. Um, but other than that, I mean, I like the page. I like the texture stamp from the Gratitude Devotional Kit. I love these paint brushes from Shauna Noel in the Print and Pray Shop. Um, and this was for the praise prompt in Gratitude Documented that I did on the 18th. Next up, uh, Thankful for Creativity. This was the third day of Gratitude Document, and I have a process video for this. I used lots of bits from the Created to Create 2 devotional kit. If you want to check out how this came together, I'll go ahead and link that in the video description below. I'm not sure if I shared this one last month, um, but I went through the Power Filled Prayers class this month and it was so great. So I actually did this one at the end of October, but wanted to share it. This is in Joshua 1 and the artwork was just so beautiful in this class that I ended up taping all but one of the of these 4 by 6 cards into my Bible with that has just the verse just beautifully scripted. So lots of washi, a little bit of paint, um, and then tons of word fetty. This month I didn't do a lot of painting, but mostly used, again, print and pray pieces uh, on clear sticker paper. This one is the last entry in the Powered Filled Prayers class. This is in 2 Chronicles. This was one of the suggested verses. I used some white acrylic paint, some neo colors, and then again those black paint splatters to get down um, my entry for, for that week. This is day two of Gratitude Documented. I used some neo colors to create this background with some white acrylic paint to kind of tone it down. Um, I used the, um, the Gratitude Documented stamps, the Gratitude Devotional stamps. This I think might have been from Word Nerd, the stamp set, and then just some typed alpha stamps. Just super simple, and this one is in Nehemiah. You'll see here that I actually got some residual ink somehow <laughs> on the page over here, so it'll be interesting to work around that when the time comes. This entry is not necessarily for gratitude documented, but it's using some print and pray pieces. This is from Tamara Arcilius set Happy Dance. I loved the sheet of that was included in her printable set and used them quite a few times in my Bible. I used the offset alphas from Salted Brew in the print and pray shop and just had some fun journaling here in, it looks like Psalm 19. Next up is this pre-advent entry in Psalm 84. Nope, 46. I used Brianna Showalter's advent kit. It's so, so, so beautiful. I've got a video that walks you through what's included in the kit and then also how this really simple entry came together. So I'll go ahead and link that if you guys want to check that out too. Next up is another one of these beautiful um, illustrations from Tamara. I used the Title starter here from Shauna Noel set. Thank you, Jesus. Again, the texture stamp, a little bit of paint um, to get this entry down in Psalm 104. It looks like this was the music prompt for Gratitude Documented. Next up, we've got the prompt for children, and I just used some, again, of Tamara's leaves here and then created a waterfall. Just some of my favorite pictures of my son from recently. I backed the first one, had already been backed with patterned paper, um, so just kept it and then added a few more, created some little um, tabs here with some washi from Elaine Davis, and then got my journaling down here in Psalm 127. This again is another entry from from Power Filled Prayers in Proverbs and just was really fun to get my journaling down, a little word fetty prayer. And then this came about because when I had this taped in, that was the first thing that I did. And I had all of my journaling here, the text here, of course, and there was this big block of white space. I was just like trapped in the middle of the page. So as kind of an afterthought, I went in with some Faber-Castell pens and just created a little pattern here in the colors for this week, um, just so that it didn't bother me so much. 
Next up is my entry in Proverbs 10 for joy. I don't think that was a prompt verse, but that's where I ended up going. I used some pieces from the Gratitude Documented Collection from Bella Boulevard on a background of just some white acrylic paint. I think I may have had an entry on the back. Nope. I don't know what prompted me to use the white paint. Um, maybe it's because I used Neo Colors to fill in the stamps here. But yeah, this was another fun one to do. For this entry uh, in Jeremiah, I have a process video. I actually collaborated with Ali Scrap, so I'll link that if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. I loved how this one came together, and I am very thankful for the Bible. This entry I just did today. Um, it's using some of the new Black Friday releases in the Print and Pray shop from Mandy Ford and then also from Shauna Klingerman. I used some paint here, washi tape. I uh, had the Print and Pray pieces on clear sticker paper so that was nice to use and then I broke out the brand new Advent devotional stamp set just to um, finish off the page. This entry has a process video over on the Illustrated Faith channel so I'll go ahead and link that if you want to check it out. This was for the family prompt and I had a lot of fun doing this one. This entry was early on in Gratitude Documented and I had just seen Heather Greenwood's Facebook Live video over on the Illustrated Faith page and I didn't share this because I basically just straight up copied her. So I wanted to journal something. I didn't want to like rack my brain trying to do something new so I really liked the paint colors that she had used, how she had stamped out the word thankful with a Faber-Castell pen and so basically just kind of scrap lifted her. This entry I did in John, this was the gratitude documented prompt for worship. I had some fun using, I basically had fun all month long, so I need to think of a synonym. <laughs> Anyway, I used Salted Brews set Gratitude Attitude printed on clear sticker paper. You can still read the text under here. You won't be able to see because my lights aren't that high, but you can definitely still see the text under there. I used some of the new highlighter washi from Illustrated Faith to go ahead and highlight the verse I was journaling. And yeah, super simple, just lots of journaling. This entry has a process video. It's the peace prompt and uh, it lives over on the Illustrated Faith channel if you want to check that out. This was the Seasons prompt, so just, again, Salted Brews set on clear sticker paper and journaling in Acts 1. Here are my prompts for Smiles and Grace. I have a process video for Grace, super simple, and then I just decided to, since I was already thinking about Grace this week, this one was a few days later, I decided to go ahead and do it on the facing page here. And you can see a lot of my pages are super similar, print and pray pieces, the texture stamp, journaling, and then the scripted prompt. I really liked how they all came together. I didn't put pressure on myself to do an entry every single day for gratitude documented. I did include my journaling in the book here, so I do have an entry for every day in here, and I'll show you guys in a few days what this looks like. All right, next up was my day one entry in Gratitude Documented. I created a little tag here using some things from my stash. The first couple days I wanted to use stuff from my stash, but then saw everyone else's really beautiful pages with the Gratitude Documented line and thought, okay, I'm ready to dive into that. So day one, I used some of the artwork from the Power Filled Prayers class, and then just some Maggie Holmes die cuts, and then last year's Gratitude Documented stamp. For this entry, I, there is a process video on the Illustrated Faith channel, so I'll link that if you guys want to check it out. I built this little house out of um, kit components. And then this was my third entry from Power Filled Prayers, and I was wrong. I did use all of the 4x6 cards and then just taped them into my Bible here um, so that I could have the verse just beautifully illustrated next to the actual verse. Although I think this verse might be right here. I'm not sure where it is. Oh, it's here, and I already had a word nerd entry, so I was pleased that these colors coordinated with each other and then just created the entry over here with some acrylic paint, the polka dot washi, the alpha stickers that are in the print and pray shop, um, and then some neo colors just to add some more color. And then second to last entry I'll share with you was this one. It's the Holy Spirit prompt. And I just took the entire book of Jude and filled it up with these adorable pieces from Shauna set. Thank you, Jesus. I just love how this one came together and it's just so fun. I love the little squirrel who has nothing to do with the Holy Spirit. She was just so cute and I wanted to use her. And then the last entry I'll share with you today is this one that I have a process video for. It is the 
Jesus gratitude prompt. So I'll go ahead and link that if you guys want to check it out. Had a lot of fun using markers and some stickers from my stash and, and really like the message and the meaning behind this one. So I would encourage you to go check it out if you haven't already. So that's it. That's going to do it. Those are the 25 or so uh, Bible journaling entries that I did for the month of November. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. I'd be happy to answer any supply questions or anything else you might want to ask. Be sure to check back for a walkthrough of my my gratitude document and mini book, see how it came together. I hope you subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you soon.